I felt the whole goodness of my hand because you see, I'm trying to ball. <laughs> and the Spirit of the Lord just, just went all the way through me. I sat there for another three or four minutes. Here come one of the deacons. He said, how you feel? I said, I'm fine. He went and got me a tissue to wipe my face. That's how much sweat was coming out of me. When he finished my hand, that's why I can sing my song. I'm so glad you chose me to sing my song. The song already said, I am so glad. Jesus lived in me, I'm 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 so glad. Glory, hallelujah. Jesus lived in me, I'm so glad. Jesus lived in me, I'm so glad. say church, we try to be proper, you know what I mean? Amen. But I'm so glad that the Lord, I'm so glad that the Lord bless you. themselves and going back in. Uh, the heart wouldn't open and close uh, and it wouldn't push no blood. But y'all still ain't trying to help me in here. I swear to God, I love that alone. I love it alone. Do you love alone? I do. I don't need no phone. Hey, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is a good God. There is something 
is going to happen in this church. That's going to change a few minds and a few hearts. Amen. And because we are here to do some changing and to bring some unity in the family. We got two brothers that are thicker than thick. They may not have come out of the same room, but they are living as if they did. They understand that there's only one spirit. They understand that. They understand there's only one spirit. And because there's only one spirit, they recognize that they're brothers and not enemies. Amen? Amen. 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 So in the midst of all of that, I want y'all to do me a favor. Praise the Lord. Come on in now. Y'all ain't got to stand up. You got to stand up. You know, make yourself at home. Amen. Amen. Take that belt over there. Take it. You see my give us some navigation. You know, she can talk to you. <laughs> my brothers and my sisters, it's time now that we have our program. But before we do, Everyone, please rise and receive you by some of the Lord.
Yeah. 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 Building temples all over the place. <coughs> One other day, I'm the very important executive senior pastor here. Raise your hands so they can see me. You know. We also have Kevin Doctor Kevin Robinson, which is the pastor of the United States. And, and I, I can't help it, but I got to deal with it. You know, I try to get everything, all these other things out of the way before we get into it. Amen. I don't want anybody to say I missed them. Amen. So I greet you all in the name of the Lord Jesus. Welcome to the house of grace. Amen. 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 This is not a church. This is a center for things to go on according to Lord, in the Lord's will. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We're so happy to have all of these new pastors just came in to the church. Thank you, Jesus. They are indicating this as this being an initial sermon, but it is the first that we've been preaching all along. And we just have to now come to the official point where it might be a certificate for that. We can't do anything but to call them in each other. I don't know where you're This history is being made here on this Sunday, February the 17th, 2000, the year 2019, four o'clock hour. We're coming. Now what we're going to get into is our praise and worship for the minute. Amen. Amen. And I call the house to order. I think what we're going to do is hold up our praise and worship and come with some scriptures. Amen. Amen. From the scriptures that we're going to have, Minister Marjorie Thomas to call. She's going to be coming out of the book of Romans 8. Chapter and the 30th verse, and we will have prayer by Minister Shirley Cambrell in that order. Amen. Amen. God, that you would continue to use them as if you have been. 
But God, I pray that you would fill them with the anointing of the Holy Ghost, Lord God. As they come forth, Lord God, to give your word, Heavenly Father. We thank you, God, for blessing them to come into the kingdom, Heavenly Father. To answer the call in Heavenly Father. So, Lord God, touch them, Heavenly Father. Touch Minister Gaskins and Minister Cold right now, Father God. Continue, God, to use them for the building of your kingdom, Heavenly Father. In God, we ask that you bless everyone that is here, God. Those who came out to witness, Lord Jesus, the blessings of this day, Lord God. God, we want just want to thank you, Lord God, for what you're doing. We thank you for the healing, God, that you've done in this house this day, God. We thank you, Lord God, for those who are on their way and for those who came out, God, who felt it wasn't robbery, not God, not to be here to lift and support these brothers, Lord God. So, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God. I thank you for their parents, Heavenly Father. I thank you for their wives, Heavenly Father. I thank you for their children, Father God. For most of all, God, we thank Thank you for the anointing of your Holy Spirit. So Lord God, have your way in this church today, God. And Satan, we put you on know that you have no authority in here. So you might as well flee out the door right there. Because God's victory is going to take place in this house. So Lord God, continue, Lord God, to do your will. Don't let it be just today, God, but carry us through the rest of this week, Lord God. In your son's name, we pray and we thank you, God, for what is getting ready to manifest this afternoon. In Jesus' name, I pray. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.
sorry. Okay, uh, please help us out on this song. So. We just put all this together now. But that's no excuse, because when the Holy Spirit is there, he, there is no excuse. So I take all that back. Bless that wonderful name of Jesus. Amen. Because there's no other name that we know. Amen. Does anybody agree with me that you know the name? 
Just want to let the late arrivals know too that y'all stepped into the kingdom. Of Amen. 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 I just want to thank God for all that has taken place thus far. Now we're going to move into the area that a lot of people always reject when it comes to it. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, Don't shake your head. I know. Yes, amen. Say amen. Amen. Y'all know what I'm talking about. We're going to do this real meat like <laughs> Praise the Lord. Come on here, baby. Did you come up here? Amen. 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 This offering time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 It's offering time. Amen. 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 If you don't have cash, then there's nothing wrong with your check. <laughs> as long as no, I don't need no plates. Give me some masters. Plates are too shallow. Amen. It take too long to get your nerves. Amen. Praise the Lord. You can make your check out to a simple letter. It's called ULCM. You can put that on your check because you don't even write the whole name on it. Amen. And if I don't get a smile out of everybody in here, you got your check with you? Cost you a thousand dollars. Amen. I'm looking for a thousand dollar smiles. Now I got to see that one. You know, we bring a whole lot of smiles up when you get that. Amen. Amen. Everybody grin when it's out now. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I even grin myself. But uh, we're going to pass the basket around, please. Uh, we're not going to walk because that's a lot of confusion. Are you ready? Uh -huh. You only had one basket? All right, that's all right. You just push it down. We're going to start in the back. Amen. Before we do that, I'll be here to talk. You ain't talking about how much money you're going to put in the basket. I don't need to hear it. Amen. Praise the Lord. I'm going to let you talk to I'm trying to tell you. I'm going to get you ready to bless the hand that's going to give it. Amen. 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 That's it. Stop smiling. Praise the Lord. Y'all have to get along with me because you see, it's one thing about me. I love good people. Amen. We came into the joyous house of the Lord. Oh, oh, yeah, we got the next one. Yes. Anybody got the credit card they want to give? We can do that. Check your checkbook in your pocket, in the pocket books. Your cash is low. You got your credit card, I know. And always use your credit card. Amen. Amen. And everything goes for the good of the house that God built. None of it goes in my pocket because I keep printing already. So, God gave me mine. I pay my tithes like everybody else do. Amen. Amen. I don't beg church for nothing. I don't give no salary either. God be nice to me. Every now and then. Every now and then. I should <laughs> Anybody don't have none? Let me know. Raise your hand. That means everybody got some money. Amen. Ain't nobody raise their hand. Ain't nobody raise their hand. I mean, everybody gonna contribute. Cause if not, I was gonna help you. I'm gonna put something in the basket myself. Amen. Amen. So let us now hold up. Let us pray. Amen. Let us pray. Our God and our Father, which are in heaven, we thank you for how it is that you brought us all together. You only call for having one spirit in everything that we do. We do because of you. Yes. You made us the way we are. We live according to your will. So we ask now, O oh God, that you touch the hearts of your people. 
whatever they have to give, we ask your blessings to be upon them. And even those that don't have it to give, Father, you bless them anyway. As the basket passes from road to road, if they don't have it, just touch the basket. And the next time they go to any one of your services, wherever it may be, they will be blessed to bless that house in which they are in. Amen. 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 That church, amen. 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 We get started back in the back. Pass the basket on one end. Amen. And the camp brothers going to be here. Come on with some music here. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm so not used to this. Good evening. Um, um, I don't know where to start. This is my husband, Frederick Askins. Um, I'd like to thank God for him. Thank God for his giving spirit. Thank God for his loving heart. I thank God for him just being the same person that he is. Um, I like to thank God that He's given this opportunity um, to grow yes. in the ministry. Um, he's came a long way. Yes. Um, I thank God for being His wife. This is all new to me. Not the ministry, but <laughs> being your wife. Um, but I thank God for Him. Those you know the word of prayer for my students. Amen.
praise. Come on, man. And sometimes we got to, it's more than just seeking God. See, he says, seek ye. When you seek, seeking is one of the first part of worship. That's right. That's right. But it's more than just seeking Christ. And when, I'm going to tell you, I got to tell y'all, so me. All right. If we want to be delivered. You can be delivered. Yeah. I don't care what sin you did. Yeah. Come on, I don't care what sin you done. As yeah. long as you living, you can be free. Yeah. Did y'all hear me? You can yeah. be halfway dead. Yeah. But just a little bit of life, yeah. you can be free. Yeah. See, see nothing right hit yet. Yeah. And we don't want death to hit us before we be free. Right. And we want to be free from everything. Wow. That's all right, See you, yes. my word, you must go through the conversion process. Yeah, there you go. Everybody, we all got to be converted. Yeah. And we got to be. It's all right. All right. Preach, man. All right. But it also delivered me. You all, we all have, we all gonna have a story to tell. Your testimony gonna set people free. Yes, You gotta, in order to have the evidence of Christ, you gotta go through something. You gotta go through something with you. David's biggest giant wasn't the people that he was fighting. This giant was himself. How big is giant is this? Been on me since I was 16. 
But I ain't had no love. Even before I met my wife. Where my wife at? Before I met my wife. And even when I was going through that process, I couldn't, I didn't know love. That's good, brother. I had care for her. And I had, and I always say, see. In right. order to get the love that God wants us, yeah. you gotta first love God. Yeah. And when you first love God, when you give God your whole heart, Come on, man. things gonna trigger down in order. Yes, right. I, I've been asking God to give me an order for a, for a while, yeah. and He had to rebuild me. Yeah. Yes. And not only that, He rebuild me. Come on, yeah. Glory. Right. He rebuild the house I live in. Yes. 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 Then we will hear from heaven yes. 
And he will forgive their sins. Yeah. And he will heal them. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Get enough right here. Yeah. 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 Take some time. That's right. And put that in your spirit. Come yeah. on now. That scripture right there was a conversion process. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Yeah. That Solomon was going before he dedicated the temple. Who want that temple dedicated today? Who want the temple to be there? You got to dedicate this temple to Christ. You got to dedicate all of you. That's right. And when your mind is made up, your mind will go to your heart. That's why he said in Romans, I got to let this thing go. He said in Romans that your mind got to be transformed.
as she was carrying him. Somebody say, God is good. What a Oh, God. But I laid my hands on her belly. And I spoke to my grandson. And I told him, you can come here. It's going to be all right. I'll take care of you. I know he hurt me. And so did the devil. We went through a lot. But God brought us all the way. One thing about church folks, you like to put on your church face. And pretend like everything is all ready and always been all right. That you ain't never done nothing wrong. And put your nose up at somebody else to get caught. But you just didn't get caught. cord wrapped around his neck. So the enemy tried to kill him again. And when could, she couldn't bring him home. And they thought he was going to die. But he's here today. It wasn't easy being grandma. I lost a lot. I was laughed at. My children were talked about. They called me crazy. But I stood on the word. Once you made me a promise that you would bless my 
Amen. With the shut off my back. Almost lost my home. But I stopped by him. Because God made me a promise. They laughed at me on my job. Talked about my clothes. But I stuck by him. God is faithful. He's faithful. Set him off to college. Set him off to college. Didn't mind scrubbing the floors if I had to. Just to make sure that he got a good education. Hallelujah. But the devil was waiting for him there. Got kicked out of school. Almost had a felony. But God is a deliverer. Had his record expunged. So he could go forth and show the praise of God. I could go on and on. But at this time, at this time, now take that devil. Father. Yes. Use him, 
God. We're going to be reading Job, first chapter, 6 through 22. Bear with me. And I'm going to try to get through this briefly as long as the Lord allows me. But best believe I ain't on your time. Your food can wait. <laughs> if you got to go, I understand. Thank you very much for coming. You're on God's time now. Because as soon as you walk out that door, you can drop in and instant. You better give God all the praise and worship while you get. I'm going to make sure this thing was working. Because I see a lot of dry bones out here today. I see a lot of stiff necks out here today. So y'all going to be able to break loose right now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. If you believe you're saved, you better give God some praise. Because it could have been another way. I'm a living testimony that it could have been another way. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh, let me read this word. Go on, Father. Oh, Father, I can't even see right now all these tears falling. And you think it's out of pain? No, it's out of joy. It's been a long time coming since I've been right here in front of you. It's been a long time coming since I was running the streets doing what I wanted to do. It's things my mother and grandmother don't even know that I did. But I have to tell them in due time, I'll tell them. But I know that God seen every single thing. I know when I was born in the street, Mr. Whooping Dudes all up and down because I was told to do it. You but so my mother asked me, where did you get all that money? I said, Grandma, but Grandma ain't give it all to me. You got chapter one, verses six to twenty-two. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Now, there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord. And Satan also came among them. And the Lord said to Satan, from where do you come? So Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro on the earth. And walking, and from walking back and forth on it. Then the Lord said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? Have you considered? Come on. Have you considered? Have you considered my servant Job? Have you considered my servant Job? That there is none like him on the earth. A blameless and upright man. One who fears God and shuns evil. So Satan answered the Lord and said, Does Job fear God for nothing? Have you not made a hedge around him? Around his household? All around, all that he has on every side? You have blessed the work of his hands. I missed that. Let me say it again. You have blessed the work of his hands and his possessions and have increased in the land. But now, stretch out your hand. Uh, I said stretch out your hand and touch all that he has and he will surely curse you to your face. And the Lord said to Satan, Behold. Somebody say, Behold. All that he has is in your power. Only do not lay a hand on this person. Uh, I'll get back to it. So Satan went out from the presence of the Lord. Now, there was a day when the sons and the daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. And a messenger came to Job and said, the oxen were plowing and the donkeys feeding beside them. When the Sabians raided them and took them away, indeed, they have killed the servants with the edge of the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. Yeah. When he was still speaking, another also came and said, The fire of God fell from heaven and burned up the sheep and the servants and consumed them. 
and I alone have escaped to tell you. It is funny that it's always a survivor. Okay, let me let me keep going though. While he was still speaking, another also came and said, Oh, the, the, the clock, I, I always get this word wrong, forgive me, Lord. The guardians four, formed three bands, raided the camels, and took them away. Yes, and killed their servants with the edge of the sword. And I alone have escaped to tell you. While he was still speaking. Does it look like always bad news starting to come to you, Bishop? When you try to get yourself together, when you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing, let me keep going. Oh, Father God. Oh, Father God. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, wow. He was still speaking. Another also came and said, your sons and daughters. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Your sons and daughters. Oh, it's getting personal now. Your sons and daughters were eating and drinking wine in their oldest brother's house. And suddenly, somebody say, suddenly, a great wind came. A great wind came from across the wilderness and struck the four corners of the house. And it fell on the young people. And they are dead. I and I alone have escaped to tell you. Then Job arose. Uh, this way it really gets interesting. Then Job arose, tore his robe, shaved his head. And fell to the ground in worship. After all that, Bishop, he still worship. Okay, some of y'all are not worshiping right now, so of course I wouldn't understand. Y'all wouldn't understand, but, but only a worshiper's heart can really understand. Let me get down to it. And he said, "Naked I came from my mother's womb, and naked shall I return there." The Lord gave. And the Lord has taken away. Bless. Bless. Be the name of the Lord. In all this, Job did not sin. He didn't curse God out. Oh my God. He didn't curse God out. He didn't turn his faith. He didn't become a Muslim or Buddhist. Oh, oh, I can't talk about other religions. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. In all of this, Job did not sin nor charge God with wrong. He didn't blame God for, his, for what happened to him. Why not? Why not? Brother, why not? The title of this sermon that God gave me, I kept switching up because it was like, God, what's going on? Why, why, what, 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 what I'm going to name this thing? What I'm going to name this thing? Write this down. How? Did you handle your first test? See, some of y'all so deep, y'all wanna get, oh, when I get there, when I get the 10, the one, God bless me with the money. No, 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 no. How did you handle when you first stepped up to the plate? When you was on deck, that's what baseball do, right? When you was on deck, and you was about to get your swing on, how did you handle it? Were you prepared? That's oh, good. Oh, 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 oh. That's good. My God, my God. Let me. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. I had to. Put, I had to bring this personally to myself. I, I felt like the word was taking me to a place I didn't want to go. I wanted to be related related to what God was saying in His word. So, so I had to. I had to ask myself, how can I break this down, God? And then He gave me points. One of the first points was, why not you? I know we say it as a cliche. I know we say it in a way that, hey, hey why not me? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, 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 yeah. But until, until you really go on through your test, you'll say, I wish it wasn't me. Come on. You got to say that. That's right. Come on now. Come on. It's the truth right there. Come on now. Why not you? Why not? I had to ask myself, what physical father will offer up their child to another human? Because as I, as, I, as I read my word, God gave permission to allow the enemy to test him. God said, go ahead. I believe my son will understand and keep his faith. Come on now. See, 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 see. Are you considered so? Oh, oh my God, my God, my God. See, my sermon today 
comes out the book of Job because this man's life was tested. Yes, it was. He was giving God all the honor and the glory and the praises. And I'm like, why? Out of all the people on earth that did wrong. Out uh -huh. of all the people on earth that cursed God. Out yeah. of all the people on earth that sinned. You chose your most faithful servant. Pastor, the most faithful servant. Did burnt offerings in the morning on behalf of his children. Yeah, yeah, How many of y'all pray for your children? Yeah. Knowing that they wrong. I got a time. I'm trying to stay on. Yeah. Come on now. See, you heard my grandmother talk about how people. Oh my God, my God, my God. You heard my grandma how, how, how people would talk about her children, which is my mother, my uncle. My uncle's on drugs. Been on drugs for a really long time. Stole from his own family. Come on. Come on now. Come on now. Okay, y'all got perfect family, I understand. I understand. Ain't nobody did nothing wrong in your family. See, before I talk about you, I'll talk about myself. See, I'm trying to stay back here, but I'm trying to tell you a story of why I am here today, right now. So why not you? I had to read over again. In chapter 1, verse 7. It said, and the Lord said to Satan, where do you come? Uh -huh. And so Satan answered the Lord and said, from going to and fro on the earth and from walking back and forth on it. So, so, so basically Satan told God, he has been looking for trouble all throughout the earth. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is there another way that he said, that, don't forget this is elevation. I ain't all the way there yet. You can correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> Made a mistake. You can correct me when I'm wrong. But I know what the Lord told me, and I'll read the word daily. That's called daily bread. Jesus, Jesus. I wonder why my pastors get so excited up here. Because it ain't about the faces, it's about what God told me. A long time I thought pastors were faking. Oh, they ain't really feeling it. Oh, they Yourself. Are you killing yourself? Yeah. Are you stealing from yourself? Are you destroying yourself? Because we always look at the fact that what somebody else is doing to us. But sometimes it's the mirrors, the mirrors that we see when you wake up in the morning and you're looking at yourself when you're cleaning your face, when you're brushing your teeth. Best believe you didn't wake up perfect. Best believe you had to get yourself together. Best believe you. Moving forward. Then I read verse 8. It said, Then the Lord said to Satan, Have you? Mm, right there. Right there. It was the have you. He had to ask the enemy, Are you aware? He had to ask the enemy, Are you that stupid that you don't see this faithful servant? I read, I get deep down in it. Have you? Oh, Jesus. Have you considered my servant Job? That was the offer up. <laughs> there is none like him on the earth. 
I'm glad there's one me in this planet. I'm glad there's one you on this earth. I'm glad there's one us. Oh, my, my God, my God, my God. Have you considered, my servant Job, that there is none like him on the earth? A blameless, upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil. So I had to take a person. If you are looking for a challenge, this is what God is pretty much telling. This is what God is pretty much telling the enemy. If you're looking for a challenge, I had my main man, Job. I had my main man, Job. See, 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 some of y'all not going to get that. Okay, it's okay. Some of y'all wasn't chosen to do the walk that I walk. Some of y'all wasn't chosen to do, oh, to sing the songs that I sing. But I tell you what, it's in this word. It's in this word. So, 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 if you're looking for a challenge, I have my main man, Job. I, 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 I'm talking about that Job that's, that's blessed with seven sons and three daughters. I'm, I'm talking about that Job that got 7,000 sheep and 3,000 camels. I'm talking about that Job that has 500 oxen and 500 donkeys and that MTV crib that he's been slaying in. And maybe, maybe, just maybe, he's got that long stretch living thing, Curse Rider. Oh my goodness, he ain't had no chest back then, so maybe God flew him himself. Oh my God. But, 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 I, I, I'm trying to tell you right now that. that Oh my God, my God, my God. He, 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 he's talking about the one that, that sins and sanctifies his children by getting up early in the morning and doing burnt offerings because he knows they sin. Hello, Grandma, how you doing? I, I'm trying to tell you a story right now. That's not just Joe's story, but it's mine. Oh my God, my God, my God. But you know something that hit me, Bishop? As I kept reading, in the first chapter, couple of verses down. Yeah. It said, he did this regularly. Yeah. Uh -huh. How hard it is for you to pray. Oh. When the last time you prayed, as a matter of fact. Oh. When the last time you woke up and said, thank you, Jesus, for a brand new life. Yeah. Thank you, Father, for a brand new breath. Yeah. 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 My God, my God, my God, my God. Some of us take life for granted. Don't realize that this word so you must take up the daily bread. What is the daily bread? That's the daily bread. The word of God. How many of y'all opening up your Bible this week? Now, 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 you see all these hands? You see all these hands? Now, 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 you open up your Bible, but did you read? Not only that, but how often did you read? Not only that, but when you did read, how did you relate it? Not only that, but when you related it, who else did you relate it to? Not only that, but did you rest over the word? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh Jesus. Jesus. Oh my God. I, I, have, to, I have to really under, have you understand that, that the Lord worketh in many different ways and he teaches me to understand different types of ways. But I got a second point. I got to skip through. But I have a second point that I want to relate to you guys. The second point is watch who is in. And who you talk to about your situation. In other words, hold your tongue. In other words, hold your tongue. Some of y'all talk too much. Some of y'all like the gospel. Some of y'all like the... Look here, look here. But not only that, when you're weak. When you're weakest. When you're at your weakest point and you want somebody to talk to. Some of y'all go to the wrong type of people and want to continue to draw the life out of you and say one day they'll die and I'll get everything that they have. Sometimes it's your family that's waiting for your will. Oh, 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 oh. I gotta move on. I gotta move on. I know you're hungry, but you can wait. Anyway, I gotta tell you about the second point. It talks about chapter two because I have to really understand the fact that 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 you had to God, you gave me hold your tongue, hold your tongue. But not only that, but He also said, "Watch who is in your situation, not who you just talked to, but watch who is in your situation." I talk, and, and, and it's, it talks very briefly about it, but but it talks about His wife. See, a lot of y'all just say, oh, yeah, you, you only see it once, you keep on moving. But God had me to stop there for a minute. Brother, he had me to stop there for a minute. 
He had me to stop this for a minute. So I, I, I'm going to tell you what, what God had told me. In chapter 2, verse 9 through 10, it says, Then his wife said to him, Do you still hold fast to your integrity? My wife? The one I married? Okay. Curse God and I. Woo. Woo. My own lover. The one I go to bed with every single night. Wake up every single day. Some of y'all don't got no one. Y'all just got the, the side piece. But he said to her, you speak as one of the foolish. He didn't say a foolish, but one of the foolish women speaks. Shall we indeed accept good from God? And shall we not accept adversity? In all of this, in all of this, Job did not sin with his lips. Uh-oh, he didn't curse his wife. Uh-oh. <laughs> He, 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 he encouraged his wife. As a matter of fact, I, 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 have, to, I have to go to the fact that, that he not only didn't curse his wife, he didn't beat his wife up. And, and not only that, he didn't smack her down. And not only that, he didn't make her head go around and around. But I know for a fact. See, I deal with the metropolis, so I see it on an everyday basis. I was involved with domestic violence, so I know when it's like hands on. When a woman tries to put me in jail for falsely accusing me, you better understand. You better understand something. It was only the heads of protection that was around me, and I didn't see myself. But everywhere I walked, everything that I said, it was protection. Oh, it's okay, drop bones. I'll be nice to you. Like I see, I ain't scared of nobody in here. Now look you dead in your eye. I'm sorry. I look you alive in your eye because they'll make the last stop. Let me hold on. Let me hold on. Let me hold on. Okay, okay. So, so he questioned. He was questioned by his wife, saying, "Do you still hold fast to your integrity?" For one, Joe's wife was out of order. Sometimes it's not your wife, no, it's in your husband. Sometimes it's your family, sometimes it's your cousin, your aunt, your niece, your nephew. Sometimes it's your best friend that you've been known for over 20 years. Sometimes it's, sometimes it's yourself. We don't like to talk about ourselves. We don't like to talk about killing our flesh. I'm going to keep going. Oh, thank you, Father, for the word. Thank you, Father, for the word. People will have to understand that they, that, that they would rather take the quick fix and curse God and die. Sometimes it's not the physical, physical death. Sometimes it's the spiritual death. Sometimes you die and lose your, 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 your mindset in Christ and who you are and what you're supposed to do, your mission in life. How do I know? <laughs> I did it. I said, God, I don't want to serve you no more. It's too hard. I'm going through too many trials and tribulations. It was one day when I realized that God was real. It's when I was given a poetry contest. I was a good poet. I was a good poet. I was one of the best in the city of D.C. I was going, you don't believe me, I got the papers to prove it. I'm not a false, I'm not, I'm not a false teacher. I'm not going to stay in here and disrespect God's best. Come on, man. I was, I was good at what I did. I was great at what I did. And not only that, I said, God, I don't want to, I don't want to talk about you no more. In a flick of a second, God, God, you, you, you took my gift to speak about poems. I couldn't, I couldn't perform anymore. And, 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 and you, and it hit me and said that when we don't want to accept what we are supposed to do, who we are supposed to be, let's believe there's someone else that will. Don't miss you, don't miss your blessing, I'm trying to tell you. I don't miss my blessing times and times again because of my no. And it took a long time to accept my yes. Come on now. It was self check. It was self check. Okay, let me keep going. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Mm. Oh. See, 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 see. He was really, really understanding that, that people would rather take the quick fix and curse God and die. These days it's known as church hurt. Come on now. These days it's known.
known as all the pastors don't like me, so I don't come to church. These days, I can't give the worship praise team because they ain't really singing my songs. I don't feel the anointing. Who said you supposed to feel it from them? Who, who said you were supposed to feel it from them? That, they, are, they are human. They some spiritual praising. Oh, no, 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 praising. Because I cry every time I hear a song that cuts me deep down within because all I can see is me walking those lonely streets alone looking at over my shoulder hoping nobody kills me. But I'm telling you, Jesus, oh, Jesus, oh, Jesus. Oh, I'm, I'm going to keep going because I'm not done with my second point. Because I also read about Job's friends. Yeah. I call them, I, I call them dumb, dumb, and the dumbest. Yeah. <laughs> dumb, dumb, and the dumbest. That's what I call them. Because we, when they don't really see the anointing of a person, you can't hang with them. Our brother spoke about a person. Cut them loose. Oh, Lord and mercy. Dumb, dumber, and the dumbest. These friends, we were supposed to be the aid, supposed to be the aid yes. of their dear brother. Yes. They were supposed to be a covering, an external covering for their dear brother. So, so I had to understand that, 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 that as I read, I got angry because I saw myself in that picture when I went to friends for help. And they said, oh, bro, you short out of luck. Oh, oh, but it was another word, believe that. But, but when I also asked them for some little bit of change, after I gave them 100, 200, maybe $300 in a lifetime span, but not only that, they asked me, well, well, well are you going to give it back? See, some of y'all dealing with them Indian givers where they don't want to give you, they don't want to take back when the time is right for them. See, I'm not a... Oh, I'm not a servant. I'm not a servant that I look for something back. I give because God told me to give. Tell me out. Oh. Tell me out, give. And God ain't never tell you give. You did it for yourself, your own fleshly desire. That's why you're broke now. You know what? Let me keep going. I'm on a short time. I'm on a short time. And I'm really, uh, it's a lot more within these points that I have, but I got to pinpoint the ones that I know is going to hit some people. That's based off of what I see, based off of what I feel. But best believe, I'm going to get in there. Somebody say, get in there. Yeah. All right, thank you for telling me. So, 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 I, 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 was, I was reading about the friends, and, and they made an appointment together. See, sometimes your enemies come together to come see how you're doing. So, so, I, I didn't just slide past that because it said they needed an appointment meeting. They was talking already about me. How many people talk about you behind your back every time you're walking? So as I kept going, it said they made an appointment together to come and mourn. Oh, that was sure was fake, wasn't it? Yeah. To come and mourn and comfort with their dear friend. But instead, one talked about how wicked he was. Another talked about the sins of his children. Another talked about being a hypocrite and lying. Oh, oh my God. Javante, Javante, come here, brother. Come here, brother. See, I, 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 was, I was getting in my word, and, 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 and as I was reading, I, I, I stumbled across. Stand in front of me right here, Javante. Stand in front of me right here, brother. This is for you, because I know I was deep in prayer about you. See, this ain't, this ain't no elevation service. I'm sorry. Cover him. Cover him. See, this young man that stands before you today is facing life in jail. This young man right here is facing life without parole. Let me tell you something. This young man was protecting his mother through domestic violence. When his stepfather, it's okay to cry. It's okay. Cry now, brother. You ain't in this alone. I told you that. There's a reason why I told you to come here tonight. It wasn't for this service. It wasn't for this food. It wasn't for us to meet and greet. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love you, Mom. I love you, Mom. Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. 
great to your name, God. I got this word for reading this and all this. I got this word from reading for you. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. And after this, I had read about chapter 12 in those verses and, and I stumbled across oh I stumbled across 13 the 13th verse and I'm going to read this very clearly and I want you to listen listen not only with your ears but with your spirit that, 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 that God has the final say do you hear what I'm saying God has the I don't care what man says I don't care what man says God has the final say and when he has a final say, nobody can undo what he's done. I want you to listen with your spirit. I don't want you to understand. I don't want you to see through your eyes. I don't want you to see through your eyes. I've been there. I understand the feeling. I know what it feels like to not have any help. I know what it feels like to not have any money. It took ten thousand dollars to give me a proper lawyer. Right now you're facing thirty. Best believe it's gonna come. The finances are not in the bank. It's in God's hands. And when he releases it, let's believe. Let's believe it's going to be an overflow. When you ask him for 30, he might give you 60. When you ask him for 60, he might double that. I know I serve a double-making God. Let me, let me read this word for you, my brother. Let me read this word for you, my brother. In chapter 12, verse 13 through 25. It says, with him are wisdom and strength. He count, he has counsel and understanding. If he breaks a thing down, it cannot be rebuilt. If he imprisons a man, there can be no release. If he withholds the water, they dry up. If he sends them out, they overwhelm the earth. With him are strength and oh my God, my God. And then let me say it again. With him are strength and power. The deceived and the deceiver are his. Let me say that again, just in case you didn't hear me. The deceived and the deceiver are his. He leads counselors away plunder, and he makes fool of judges. He makes fools of judges. Let me say it again so you can really feel it. He makes fools of judges. F-O-O-L-S Fools, that's raw Hey, hey, so it's more than one fool That's the BG County system That's trying to corrupt your mind That's trying to corrupt your spirit He makes fools of them When they thought they had you Somehow Some way You walked out free Let me keep going, I ain't finished yet I ain't finished yet he loses the bonds of kings. Oh, he loses the bonds of kings. I see you're free today. So God already answered that one. Okay, let me keep going. And bonds their wrists with a belt. He leads princes away plunder. And overthrows the mighty. Oh, he overthrows the mighty. He overthrows the mighty. Not the silly, the mighty. Okay. He deprives the trusted ones of speech, meaning that nobody can just talk to you and say, hey, it's going to be okay, and just try to keep your head up. No, they're going to speak life. That's right. That's good. That's good. He deprives the trusted ones. Oh, see, I know you got some family that say that he deserves to be behind jail walls. I know, I know the one that you, your father, your stepfather that you killed. Yeah. I know how your mother, how the mother feels. She's angry, she's mad, she's sad. But best believe, not even her words can overcome God. Okay, let me let me keep going. Let me keep going. Y'all better be praying for this young man. Y'all better be praying for this young man. 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Father God. Oh, he, he deprives the trusted ones of speech and takes away the discernment of the elders. He pours contentment on princes. Oh, hey, my God. And he disarms the mighty. He uncovers the deep things out of darkness. How long have you been in darkness? Because he discovered you today. Best believe that. Oh, my God. And brings the shadow of death to light. Yeah. He makes nations great. You are a great part of a nation. Yeah. Oh, my God. And destroys them. He enlarges nations and guides them. He takes away the understanding of the chiefs. Oh, I just talked about the chiefs earlier, about the enemies that like to give and get back. Oh, my good. Oh, my good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, my God, my God. He takes away the understanding of the chiefs and the people of the earth and makes them wander in a pathless wilderness. They, oh, my God, they grow. Hey, that means they grab, they're grabbing. They can't see where they're going, so they're grabbing. You gotta understand what you've been grabbing yeah. in darkness. Best believe it will come to light. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. oh my God, they broke in dark yeah. without light. And listen to this. And he makes them stagger yeah. like a drunk, like a drunken man. Yeah. That's, that's, that's what I see, like a drunken man. Let me tell you something, brother. I, 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 I could care less about this color. I could care less about what, what you see. It's not what you see that I want you to see. It's the spirit that I'm trying to connect you, that I see myself in you. It's going to be all right. At the end of this. At the end of this. See, we have to, you have to realize I want you to get into your word. That God says that he is not, <laughs> oh my God, he would never leave or forsake you. Yeah. Oh my God, my God, my God. He would never leave or forsake you. He is the beginning. In the end, he is Alpha and Omega. He is the first and the last. He wrote your story. Just because you can't see it doesn't mean that it ain't written already. Yeah. That's good. That's good. You can sit down. The word of the Lord is blessed towards your life. Don't worry. Everybody, come on now. Let's go. I got one more to go. I'm good. I promise. I promise. I know we. I know we got to go. I know. I know. And I, I, I'm trying to get it done. But 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 I also got one more point. My last point, and I'm done. I'm finished. And I know I've been a long time, Pastor, but I, I, I'm really trying my best because I got to do what the Lord telling me to do. So my last and final point, what's love got to do with it? Hey! See, see, some of y'all, some of y'all are thinking about, oh, oh, Tina Turner, get your spirits right. I'm trying to tell you right now. That's right. If that's the first thing you got based off of what I said, you need to do a self-check. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. Hey, God, hey, 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 hey. Realize the love that Job had in his heart. That he was going through all that he was going through. And yet he still worshiped. Even when everything was taken away from him. He still worshiped. Now I have to realize the fact that God's love for Job. See, we don't really realize that, that, that God had a love for Job to even sacrifice his son to be able to go through these tests. Uh -huh. God, thank you, Father. See, 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 you have to understand that when, you, when you're dealing with an uh, uh, empty and broken vessel, it's hard to fill them back up. But, but when you give them on them gifts after you've done everything faithfully, see, it was the love of God that kept pushing them. Oh, my God, my God, my God. But it was God's love that out of the 7,000 sheep, God turned it around and gave them 4,000, 14,000 sheep. Now, out of the 3,000 camels, God turned it around and gave them 6,000 camels. Out of the 500 oxen, you see where I'm going with this? He doubled everything. He doubled everything that was taken from him. And gave him, the Lord said, and gave him so much, much more. They didn't say much more, they said much, much more. So I leave this word untainted. I leave this word untainted for your ears to do some investigation inside yourself because your first test shows a lot about your character. Your first test shows a lot about what you've gone through. 
Your first test shows a lot about what you're trying to get through. See, some of us want the building. Some of us want the church. Some of us want the clergy church and all. It's all good and when it looks good on you. But but what is your spirit saying? What is your heart? He was a man. The God's heart. Yeah, that's right. That's love. Right. That's, 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 that's love. That's love right there. That's love. It ain't nothing greater than that. I mean, love is love. Love yeah. can defeat any and everything that walks among this earth. Love can break any bondage that has a crystal. Oh my God. Our family love people. Even if we know that you just hate us. Oh, oh we, we know. Some of y'all in here right now, we know. I'm done.
that God gave me came to pass. Amen. That young man will not be charged. Yes. Wait a minute, let me tell you. Y'all need to know this. Y'all need to know this. You see, any time that a young man gets charged like he's been charged, or have done what he had to do. What he had to do, he done. Y'all ain't here. And God will protect him like the devil. The devil knew what God had for him. But he had to hold him down by trying to incarcerate him so that in fact he won't do the Lord's work. Because he's been led by somebody that knows the Lord to draw him in to do what God has for him. and agree with him. I not only touch him, I touch the mother too. I agree with her. She agreed with me. The Bible says when two come together, touch and agree. That whatever it is, love already took him. I'm not going to belabor you any longer. You boys stand up. I can call you boys because I'm older than you. Amen. Come on, 
somebody. I don't know about y'all, but I done had a whole lot of young men preach a trial song. And they initial song. These boys act like they season. Yes, sir. <laughs> and the only way that you can act like you're Caesar is that you are Caesar. Like the Spirit of God. Amen. 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 They're not on the city, they show it. Amen, y'all. God has sent them this direction, and the only thing I can do is to lead them. And God shows me the direction in which I'm to travel. He cuts the road for me. We all know what the old lady said. But she said, the Lord is my shepherd, and I shall not want. So I believe I ain't got to work for nothing because he told me earlier that he'll supply me all my needs. According to the riches, not here on earth, uh, but in glory. Y'all still ain't loving it. Y'all ain't loving his word. Amen. I'm not being what y'all think I am. I'm being what God has called me to be. But see, you can think that they are anything you want to think on them, but they're more than conquerors. As long as they stay in the word of the Lord. Amen. Only thing I'm doing, I'm following Jesus. And Jesus went by the shore and he told 12, follow me. Amen. He didn't tell them they was going to no church. He didn't tell them they were going to no religious order. Y'all better hear me back there. All he said was, follow me. He already had the instructions from his father. I got the instructions from my father. I ain't talking about that earthly one. I'm talking about the one that looks... And if they follow me as I follow Christ, then greater things you haven't even seen yet. You think today you've seen something, but you ain't seen nothing yet. If, 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 if you keep on living, you want to see these young men more and more. And they're already doing a great work in the community. They already feed the hungry. And they they sow it their seed in a lot of people. Amen. 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 He didn't have to call that young man up here. Amen. He could have kept on doing what he's doing. But he's been told the altar is where things can be changed. I don't think all the pastors are here tonight. Amen. And because I know too that the brothers have touched a lot of the pastors is here already is the reason why you come to support. Amen. I want to thank y'all for coming. Amen. 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 I, I saw my big brother come in the way. Hey, he's younger than I am, but he's my big brother. Amen. The only reason why he's my big brother, he's tall than I am. <laughs> Amen. I, I'm, I'm older than him. I used to run with his mother. Amen. Amen. We should run. We tear some prayer bands up. Hey. Look, we give gospel early, late at night. You name it, two in the morning, had that morning drive. Y'all know about this. Time. Amen. Step all night long, praise God. Ain't got no music, ain't got nothing but our foot clapping. Hands clapping. Yeah, Lord. And singing the gospel. Amen. Amen. That's what saved me. Go to church in, in Chester. Amen. No, Kaki Laki. Yeah. Back that way, you had to come off the main road, get on the side road, then you get on the dirt road, then you touch the road. Back that way, don't disturb nobody. Amen. Amen. And if you get dark, you ain't gonna know your way out. God is good. I want to say to you, you never look back. There's no fit. You know. What you've already gone through with the Lord today, you will always remember. Stay in the world. Never put it aside. Do what God has called you to do. In decency and in all. And if you don't, you will find me with my big stick. Amen. Praise the Lord. I hope you see that your wife can be okay. She, she waved her hand. I want to say to you all too, we have some distinguished people here in the house before we close out. Amen. I just want to let you know, too, that if y'all want to see me, that your soul needs some help, 
this is a place that you can travel through to get to where God wants you to go. I don't try to hold nobody here in unity. But this is a house of God. This ain't my house. I'm a manager here. That's all I do is manage what God has given me. That's the reason why you don't see church up there. You see a ministry. Amen. We are united in the spirit to live the life that Christ, that, that not take that stop at that teeth where Christ has made a ministry for us that we all can live a Christian attitude. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, amen. So the only thing I want to do is to do what God has called for me to do in each and every one of you. Amen. Because you all are my brothers and my sisters. And ain't a darn thing you can do about it. And I want to tell y'all too, I love you and there's still nothing you can do about it. Amen. amen. I don't care if you don't like me. I don't care if you hate me. I'm going to love you. Amen. Yes, I am. I know how to love the hell out of you. Amen, amen y'all. That's what I tell you. I know about it. See, for my daddy tell me to love them some more. Yeah. And then they slap me on one side. I'm love them some more. Yeah. Well, well, I'm going to slap them after I get back. Come on. <laughs> Whatever way they slap me, that's the way I'm running. Praise the Lord. God is a good God. So y'all can see me. If you need some help in getting where you need to be, amen. Come see me. Come see me. But we do have some distinguished people in the house tonight. I just want to make it known to most of it. And then we got our president of our civil association, Camp Springs. We had quite a few candidates that ran for office that didn't make it. All that ran for office, come on, y'all stand up. I don't know. I ain't seen all the face all over. Amen. Amen. Oh, we got that. Okay. <laughs> What you got? He <laughs> left. That's all right. I get it. <laughs> Amen. One other finite personality that I have to address. You all right? It's a war. I take care of it. I adopted that boy. I ain't said that my friend yet. <laughs> That's one of my sons, I adopted him. So it doesn't matter to me what house he is. He's still my boy. Amen. Amen. God told me to do that. Yeah. Wow. Told me to tell him. Yeah. And if you want to call me daddy, you can. Yeah. And I want to live as a father in your son. Yeah. Amen. Amen. No man loses his daddy, he'll give him no. Amen. God keeps a ram in the bush. Yeah. And I ain't asking to come here. The spirit of the Lord brought him here. Then so what you doing sitting back there? I see you back there. They had a meeting downstairs in his office. And that's where I met him at. And it was something about the spirit that made a connection. And he come running and tell me all about it. I thank God for that, y'all. Because I don't have no sons. I got four gals. Four daughters. I want to be a boy so bad when I got my first grandson. I want to eat that boy up. <laughs> <laughs> but I want there are several pastors in the house. We want to recognize you two pastors that so Darren's pastor. Stand up. She's pastor, stand up. I'm in control here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This is his pastor of his church. She agreed and what we met on. Amen. Amen. She said she'd be here today and she's here. Amen. Thank God for her being here today. Amen. Amen. I'm going to have, he's going to be working for me and I don't know what he's going to be doing elsewhere, but I'm going to put him to work. And I said, he might as well get his, his pick and shovel out down. He's going to be digging some, some ditches. I'm telling you. Amen. Amen. That's the way I work. We have a full plate for the ministers. They learn what God has shown them. First of all, how to be a child of the Most High God. How to be an ambassador, number two, of what God has placed in you. Number three, you got to show yourself approved to be what God has called you to be. I didn't get I have a three. Because we work on the 12 principles of the Holy Spirit. And four of those attitudes are commitment, obedience, loyalty, and perseverance. Amen. That's the order in which we travel. Amen. They learn administration because a whole lot of churches ain't, ain't running right. Amen. 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 They ain't running right. We've been running there for 20, about 20 years. 
Amen. People ain't coming in, going out. I'll keep on. Yeah. Jesus didn't keep his disciples. Yeah, right. All he that's did was right. he taught them, yeah. and they yeah. took the learning, and they ran with yeah. it. Yeah. Amen. That's all I want to do is to get them ready for the field. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. I know this your son, your pastor. Come on, stand up. That's, that's Papa. That's Papa Fred's son. That's Papa Fred's son. That's his dad. Amen. He passed the team. He passed it. I ain't trying to take no son. Don't think I am. Amen, y'all. Amen. But he came to me with an open heart. The love. And that's his mama sitting over there, too. A whole lot of little family sitting up here. But <laughs> Fred's wife is in the kitchen, but her mama's here. And the grandma's here. There she is. Y'all can already see the anointing is on both of them already. Praise the Lord. I know I'm taking a little time, but they're getting ready in the kitchen. Amen. So that y'all can eat. Praise the Lord. Now, this is, this is Darren's mother. I want y'all to move. Come on, stand up, baby. Amen. She don't look like she's ready to go that way. That's a very big boy. Amen. Praise Lord. That's grandma, granddad, great grandma. Amen. Great grandma. Come on over there. Amen. On over here. On over here. No. Yeah, well, y'all can come back whenever y'all want. Amen. I, I, I can't push you out of here because it ain't my house. It's your house. If you don't come here and feel comfortable, it's on you. Amen. Take them shoes off if they hurt your feet. Who else got it? Before I close, I want to say to you too. We have a very distinguished, honorable man that I have. That the Lord put us together some years ago. Well, I think that different a few years ago. Our spirits made a connection and drew us closer. And he got to the point where he don't want to do nothing unless I'm involved. And I don't really want to do nothing unless he involved. When they say a connection in the spirit, that's what we have. And it's all of the Lord's work. Nothing to do with either one of us. It was his work. Because we were perfect strangers until the Lord put us together. Now we're closer than brothers. Amen. Amen. He gives me the right to be his spiritual father. I'm a spiritual advisor. Let me straighten it up. He's older than I am, I think. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I want to introduce some to some and to others. Dr. James Dua. And he's also taking on a position now that he's been appointed. Yeah. The veteran, oh, he got over 20 years, y'all. That's why I say he older than I am. I didn't get that far, man. He was over 20. I mean, he done worked for the President of the United States, been invited out to dunk by them, personally had them at their table inside the White House. So when you talk about distinguishedness of that individual, he, I don't know how many offices he's held in the directorship of here in Prince George's County and as well as otherwise for the military of the United States Air Force. Amen. But the one thing that he has right now, he's responsible to handle the business of veterans affairs of Prince George's County. And that's the whole county he's the man. So with 39,000 veterans plus their wives, their husbands that passed away, and the children we got to deal with. The one thing I heard from him is that we in this together. That's a whole lot. We need your prayers. Amen. We need your prayers. And we need your cooperation to help us with the plan that he has, that he has been given. His marching orders by none other than our state exec. And she has given him what she wants to have, and he's going to follow those instructions. Amen? Amen. Amen. I think that's about it. The pastor of the church, where's she going? Right here. I'll be right back. Uh, 
Here's low sound. Executive pastor sitting up here. Keep them all shit and start smiling. And I know that makes the devil mad and mad. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Come here, bro. Yeah, get up. Come here. I ain't in your church. I'm in it. You're over here with me now. Amen. This is Dr. Nathaniel Thomas. Yes. the New Redeemer. We used to sing your pastor there. I want y'all to, to stand. What we're going to do now is we're going to have a closing prayer and a benediction. The Lord's going to be again. He's going to be again. Amen. I pray to you that whatever you do, do it in the name of Jesus. If you do it in his name, you can't show no hate nowhere. Love should abound in each and every one of us because love brought us in here. Amen. And you may not have praised the Lord like everybody else. Because I constantly hear all the time from some of my people in that house. You don't worship like I worship. But I only found there's only one way to worship God, and that is through praising him. Amen. 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 So many of us are stuck in our own attitudes to what we're going to do, how we're going to do it, when we're going to do it. I'm telling you now that that same attitude is in hell too. Right. They still doing what they were doing while they were here. Amen. 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 Your spirit ain't going, but your soul surely is in root. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Y'all, they tell them what I'm talking about. Come on back your way tonight. I'll teach you what I'm talking about. Amen. Amen. What God put in you, He gonna take it back. But what He gave you was a soul. That he don't want back unless it come back the way he gave it to you. Amen. Pure and clean. Amen. Amen. Ouch. Oh, oh, that was got <laughs> Let each one of us hold the other's hands. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. We just want to say thank you right now. Thank you. For you've been so good. You showed up again. We thank you for your anointing, oh God. Thank you for the young man that came up with God. For a miracle has already been done. Thank you for the preach word that went forth. Thank you for the both of these gentlemen, oh God. For this is not the end, but just the beginning. Yeah. Oh God, Satan is bad right now. Yeah. Because Satan is, Satan is already saying, they're not going anywhere. Yeah. But oh God, we recognize that if we have our hands in your unchanging hands, oh God, we just want to say thank you right now. Hold these young men, oh God. Oh God, hold them in the bosom of your arms. Rock them right now, oh God. Direct them right now. Hold them right now. Keep them in the name of Jesus. God, you're worthy right now. You're worthy to be praised, oh God. You're worthy to be praised right now, oh God. Oh God, as they leave this place, let no hurt, no harm, no danger. Don't let the devil try to get in between them. Oh God, we recognize you are the martyr. You're the one that's going to hold them together. You're the one that's going to keep them together in your name right now. Oh God, bless right now. Bless right now. Because we know the devil is mad right now. But we know he has no power. Because all power is in your hands. Oh God, touch the food that we're about to partake in. Let it be a nourishment to our bodies. Oh God, we say thank you for the pastor and the angel of this house, oh God, who didn't find it robbery to work with these two young men. Oh God, we say thank you right now. We thank you in the name of the Father. We thank you in the name of the Son. We ought to just shout right now and say thank you in the name of the
the Holy Ghost. Let the church say amen. 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 And amen. amen. God bless you. Just before you leave out, just before you leave out, everybody can't get through the door at the same time. So y'all use a little portion in going out into the area where the food is being served. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Y'all be blessed.